Welcome to our minute session. Have you ever struggled to select the right SAP HANA hardware necessary for your customers to run their SAP Business One version for SAP HANA environment? The certified SAP HANA hardware directory makes choosing the right hardware for your customers easy. Under SAP Business One in the Partner Edge portal, simply navigate to SAP Business One version for SAP HANA. You first need to have a good understanding of your customer's memory consumption. You need to understand how much memory they need based on criteria such as the number of documents created per day, the number of lines per document, or the maximum concurrent users, for example. To help you understand your memory requirements, we are going to utilize the sizing tool. The sizing tool will help you understand how much server memory you will need factoring in growth potential. You can select the sizing tool under Technical Information and Documentation. To determine your database memory size, you need to enter all of the transactional data for all of your company databases in the yellow cells here. So for example, the number of documents per day for all of your companies. If the number of documents is around 1,000 per day, we're going to enter 1,000 in the cell here. We're also going to select around about 20 lines per document. Then you've got the number of working days per year and you need to enter the number of company databases you have and in this example we're going to select five. You also need to select the maximum number of concurrent users which is 25 in this example. What you can see here is in the green cells the database size after one year. So after one year it's 60 gigabytes. Minimum server memory required after three years is 87 gigabytes. So we need to keep that in mind. So now we need to search for hardware with a minimum of 87 gigabytes in memory capacity. Let's go back to the SAP Business One HANA landing page. We can now select the certified SAP HANA hardware directory. Under this directory, by default, you'll then be presented with a list of certified appliances for SAP Business One. So as you can actually see under Appliance Type here, SAP Business One is selected by default. You can then filter the appliances available by vendor. So for example, your customer may wish to use a specific vendor based on the hosting facility they use, their familiarity and also expertise in-house. So in this example, my customer would like to select a Lenovo vendor. Under CPU architecture, we have a number of different options for this vendor. If you select the first CPU architecture available, you know that this will always be the latest version of hardware available. Given our customer will need a minimum server memory of 87 gigabytes, we also need to select our memory options. We're going to choose the 128 gigabyte option. Even if there was an option to select 96 gigabytes, I would still choose 128 gigabytes to ensure there is ample memory capacity, which will also avoid any unnecessary upgrades in the future. So with that, we have two options now available to us under the Lenovo vendor, based on our selection criteria. We can also select these options and drill down into further configuration details, such as the number of sockets, the CPU architecture, the certification release dates, the operating system type, memory type and so forth. You can also export these options as a PDF document for further reference. If you wish to drill down into the bill of materials for these appliances to see what further configuration options are available, we then need to navigate back to the SAP Business One version for HANA landing page. We then need to choose Certified SAP HANA Server Configurations, Bill of Materials. This will then navigate you to the SAP Community Network, Certified HANA Server Configurations landing page. And this page will provide you with continuous updates on the latest available certified appliances. If we scroll to the bottom of this page, we can click on the link of the bill of materials that are available for different vendors. We're then going to select our preferred vendor which is the Lenovo X-Series and from here we can see that the M3500 M5 was on our list that we filtered from the certified SAP HANA hardware directory. 
you can see all of the configuration details here and underneath for 128 gigabytes you can see all of the options that are also available to your customer. So now you have the necessary knowledge to approach your preferred hardware vendor for availability and pricing options. So in summary, firstly understand your customer's sizing requirements using the sizing tool. Then navigate to the certified SAP HANA hardware directory and based on your filter options you will then be presented with a list of certified appliances that may meet your customer's requirements. Then further check out the certified SAP HANA server configurations bill of material information available on the SAP community network based on your chosen appliances to understand the configuration requirements and options available. Then you're ready to approach your preferred vendor with a list of specific requirements for your customer.